Will a planet collide with the Earth? And what would happen? What would happen if you suddenly got the news that a planet was on a collision course with the Earth? Imagine for a moment that there is a planet headed straight for us. There would be nothing we could do about the impending tragedy. There would be nowhere to run or hide from what would come in the coming days and final hours. But you might be surprised at how everything you have ever known would come to an end, and just how much you would get to see right before impact. We've got a good idea of what happens when an asteroid comes close to our planet. Usually, some stuff on the planet gets damaged or vaporized, such as what happened with the Chelyabinsk meteor or the Tunguska meteor which took out 80 million trees and erased 2,000 square kilometers of forest in an instant. But what would happen if two planets of almost the same size crashed into each other? It's already happened to the Earth once before, and maybe it could happen again. You might have heard some wild stories floating around YouTube about a rogue planet called Nibiru that was supposed to hit the Earth on many different doomsday dates. No, this isn't another Nibiru conspiracy video, but it gives us a good basis to begin this thought experiment. The Nibiru cataclysm idea started back in 1995, and we're all still here. But just because these stories are a hoax, doesn't mean that it's impossible for a planet to collide with the Earth. But just exactly what would happen? You're probably imagining something straight out of a Hollywood movie that has cool explosions and lots of cataclysmic things going on when we talk about two planets colliding. But in reality, things might be a lot different than what you might expect. Maybe even more terrifying than what you have seen in the movies. Something as big as another planet headed towards us is going to have some chaotic effects before it's close enough for impact. Things would start to occur on a slower time scale, an astronomical time scale. For example, the Earth is spinning at 1,000 miles per hour, but we don't feel this because of the sheer size of our planet. A collision by another planet wouldn't be like a large asteroid hitting the planet. Instead, it would be a chain of events that would start off slow and then become much worse as the impact approached. The speed and the direction that the rogue planet is headed is a factor, and the Earth travels and orbits along with the Sun through space at 67,000 miles per hour. If a planet is headed towards us from the exact opposite direction, resulting in a head-on collision, the fireworks would be immense. There are many things to factor in, such as the angle of the rogue planet and in which direction it would collide with us. To keep things easier, consider that the two planets are free-falling towards each other with a starting closing speed of three kilometers per second as we need some point of reference. By the time our approaching rogue planet reached the moon's orbit, which is about 384,000 kilometers away, the tides on the Earth would be about eight times greater than they normally are. This wouldn't affect everyone on the planet though and there would be no giant tsunamis until closer to impact. But the waves would be much bigger, and much of the coastline would be swept away as the rogue planet got closer to Earth. Time from impact from the moon's orbit at a speed of 10 kilometers per second would be around 28 hours. The closing speed would increase as the gravity between the two planetary objects would attract each other. If the Earth and Planet X were both suddenly thrown into an orbit, which would bring them head-on as we mentioned earlier, the closing speed would be twice the Earth's orbital velocity, which would be 60 kilometers per second. With just a few hours before impact, giant tsunamis would travel across the seas and oceans. But it is only the calm before the storm. The storm system would drastically change, and there would be lightning storms, deadly tornadoes, and immense hurricanes, probably far off the category scale. Since this planetary object would be so close, the gravitational forces between the two planets spinning into each other would cause earthquakes. Since the planet was only a few hours from impact, there would be a series of earthquakes and volcanoes would erupt. The fragile San Andreas fault line in California would probably collapse before impact. The ring of fire in the Pacific would light up and a string of volcanoes would erupt. And this is still just hours before impact. 
even before the rogue planet has invaded the Earth's atmosphere. Seeing the planet from the Earth covering most of the sky would be a frightening experience as it traveled towards us. The Earth's atmosphere is about 300 miles, or 480 kilometers thick. So even as the two planets were coming together, and if you survived the other cataclysmic event, you could feasibly be standing somewhere on the planet, witnessing its last moments. But by this time, you would only be three minutes from impact. Both planets would have their own gravity, but as the two planets attracted each other, and they collided, the impact would stop or slow down the rotation of both planets. As the friction between the two planets increased as they ground into each other, the force would stop the spin of the planet. The shock from the first impact would travel across the world in less than 20 minutes. The sound of such an event would be unimaginable, like an earthquake of unimaginable strength. The collision area would grow and expand from the point of impact as millions of tons of superheated rock are ejected from the growing crater, which would start to expand outward as the two planets become one, the Earth being swallowed by the slightly bigger planet. We know that the Earth's core is a solid ball of iron nickel, and it's about 70% the size of the Moon, which is a radius of 1,220 kilometers, about 760 miles in diameter. The Earth's magnetic field controls the direction and speed at which the inner and outer cores of the Earth spin. It is because of the Earth's iron core and its rotation that we have a magnetic field that protects us from harmful space radiation. This inner core rotates towards the east and rotates at a speed greater than the Earth's rotation. If something were to suddenly stop the outside rotation of the Earth, the inside core might keep spinning but cause massive internal damage to the planet as it moves suddenly towards the impact zone. The Earth could melt from the inside out as it was being slowly vaporized by the impact of the rogue planet. This end of the Earth would happen in some ways both slowly and suddenly. Most people would have survived to see the planet enter the atmosphere, but once the shock wave started to travel across the world, there would have only been minutes before a wave of fire 4,000 degrees swept across the surface, destroying everything. The force now so strong that no living thing could withstand the tremors or earthquakes. There would be total cataclysm, and nothing would survive at this point. But the good news after going through this exercise in a fiery cataclysm, there is no planet headed towards the Earth. And there is nothing that we know of that will put an end to life here on our planet as we know it. We are just a tiny blue marble spinning somewhere in the cosmos, hoping that no other celestial object is headed our way anytime soon. We hope you enjoyed our video. And